right, guys, so any of you that follow me on Instagram saw that I kind of made a post kind of saying that I wasn't mentally sure if I wanted to keep this prep going. And um, not gonna lie, the last couple days I was kind of just like getting to a mental place where I'm like, is it really worth um, still prepping right now? Because I really honestly, like the two main goals this whole prep were to bring my absolute best physique to the stage. I did that. And then second was just to get on a pro stage and see how I compared in a pro lineup. Those were kind of my main goals accomplished, done, all that stuff. And so, um, man, after like, I think this is like week 36 of dieting, I just finally kind of hit a, a crash wall where I was like, oh my God, is this really worth still going? And, um, you know, I, I talked it over with my coach and he's pushing me to keep this going. And then I just kind of had a, another boost of, of um, you know, it's just when, when you know other people are supporting you and watching you, I don't want to let people down. And um, pretty cool, I just got this, um, I think it was last week, uh, Christian Guzman uh, hit me up and um, I know he's been like watching my YouTube videos, sometimes he'll comment on them. And that's just awesome knowing that like big players, whatever, big fitness names and stuff like that that have such a huge following and have had so much success in this you know, fitness industry are watching you is a really cool thing. And uh, he hit me up and asked for my address to uh, send me out a package of uh, Alpha Elite clothing. So I just got that today, which is pretty cool. But man, he freaking hooked it up. I got like um, two different hoodies here and a bunch of, um, I think these are like his performance tees. So like a bunch here. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's just like, man, it's like, how can I not, you know, keep this prep rolling and stay motivated when you know people like, you know, like that are kind of supporting you and watching you. Um, again, so I think the main focus now is just gonna be this last show, which is June 10th. So it puts me like it, I think four and a half weeks out here. Today is what, May 3rd, May 4th, one of these days, I forget. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. It's funny how like just today, I don't know if it's the sunshine, it's 70 degrees here finally. Uh, we're getting some warmer weather uh, here in Washington. Kind of go outside here, see if I can, yeah, get some better weather out here. A little nicer, it's like 70 degrees right now. But um, I don't know, just feel a lot better today. And I just had an awesome, awesome workout leg day. Um, I just have felt so much more energized the last few days. I was feeling drained and that's where I was just kind of having the mental, the mental head games, you know, it's just prep feels guys. I've been dieting for like 36 weeks now. So yeah. So anyways, just want to do uh fill this in with you guys. I'm still rolling. Um, I got new macros that I'm starting tomorrow along with, get this guys. I got three, three low intensity cardio sessions of 20 minutes this week. So uh, I've got some cardio, but the new macros starting tomorrow are gonna be 260 protein. Carbs are going from 150 to 130, so 130 carbs and 52 fat. Again, we're pretty much just trying to tighten up my glutes and hams a little bit more for this last push, and I think everything will be uh, good to go. I was like 182.8 today, so I think weight-wise I'm kind of where I should be. It just might be like another pound that I need to lose uh, to just kind of tighten up a little bit through the glutes and ham. So anyway, just kind of wanted to update you guys. I'll see you in the next Hi. clip. Hi guys, this is uh, this is Jolene. This is a uh, temporary uh, little, little friend here for my dog, Jack. But um, sh this girl is, um, uh, one thing that I do, ooh, hey guys. One thing that I do is uh, I actually host uh, for Airbnb. So that was kind of something that I, uh, I started doing like, I don't know if it's been like a year or so. Because in my house, uh, what's nice is my master bedroom and bathroom are on one side of the house and then kind of behind me here in this hallway, I have like just two extra spare bedrooms that are like, one has like a bed in it and everything. And then I have a nice full size bathroom and everything like that. And it's on the opposite side from my bedroom and everything, which is over here in the corner. And so I was like, you know what? 
it's like kind of a bunch of like wasted space that I'm not using. Why not make some extra income off it? So I had a person here um, that stayed here temporary and she was like, hey, you should do Airbnb. And I'm like, the hell is Airbnb? I had no idea what it was. And um, the, I kind of started researching it. I'm like, you know what? Like what the awesome thing about Airbnb, it's not like Craigslist where somebody's like, Oh bro, I'll give you like $200 a month to rent your room. And I'm like, hell no, that is not worth like invading my privacy, using my house. Uh, all, oh my God, I just noticed I have like a nice Christian Guzman thing in the background. But um, yeah, so the great thing about Airbnb is like, it's like mainly, uh, I can't talk here, mainly like professionals and things like that. I've got like a lot of people that are just here um, you know, on work or they're just like the lady that's here now. She's, um, she's a nurse practitioner and she's just looking for, she got transferred here to Spokane and she's looking for a place to live. So while she's looking for a place to live, she needed a temporary place to uh, stay. So the great thing about Airbnb is people will actually pay, like you get a good amount of money, like pretty much well, I rent this house and pretty much what somebody pays here to stay for a month pays for my entire rent which is pretty cool. So I've been able just to kind of like stash away a lot of extra income by just hosting out, again, a spare bedroom and letting them use a bathroom that I don't even use, that just like collects dust, it just sits there. So kind of a cool thing, and I've had like a lot of people bring their dogs, which is great because then I, my dog has another dog to kind of play with while they're here, so just kind of something cool that I do um, just to make some extra income. And what's funny is like, I'm thinking about this whole move to Austin. I'm kind of thinking about uh, possibly in June after my prep is over, um, doing maybe like an Airbnb down there for like a couple weeks and just kind of getting a good feel for the area. And that way I can kind of look for places and stuff like that. So, and at the time I might have, I think at the time I'll have somebody staying, another girl, I keep getting all these women, man, all these, I don't know, maybe it's they're looking at my profile picture on there or something. It's not shirtless, I swear. But uh, I keep getting like all these women and stuff staying with me, which is, it's actually cool. Like I get all these, like the one here, it's so funny. I've gotten I've gotten her to uh, count her macros. I have her like using my uh, my food scale. She's like, I might hire you for coaching. So we'll see if she ends up hiring me. But uh, it's just kind of funny. I feel like because every person that comes in here kind of sees how I have to eat and how like regimented I am with my diet. So, um, but yeah, anyways, though, it's just kind of a, it's just kind of a cool way. I don't know. I've gotten like a lot of great people. It's been a great experience for me thus far. I've had a lot of great people, uh, come, you know, come stay in my home. And I know, I, I know for some people they're like, oh my God, like, how could you let strangers come in your house? I don't know. Maybe you have the right, you have to have the right, like open personality to be able to like do stuff like this. People don't realize though, like nowadays with like social media and even my experience going down to Texas with like hanging out with like Nick Bear, I had never met Nick. I had never, this was all through like knowing each other through social media, basically the same thing. And he allowed me to come stay in his home, stay in his house. I was a complete stranger. So I think nowadays with like social media, this is all becoming more, you know, and I like screen these people. I'll sit there and email with them back and forth and just kind of feel them out, like see what their job is, see what their daily schedule is gonna be like. Just kind of make sure like, hey, like we're on the same page, this is gonna be a good fit, all that stuff. So just kind of want to throw this in and kind of give you guys more of like a kind of behind the scenes personal stuff that I kind of do to make some uh, some extra income uh, on top of my, uh, like I said, I do online coaching, which is where I get most of my income, but I do have a lot of local clients like right here in Spokane that I coach. Um, literally, I coach like personal trainers out of my gym. I coach the fitness director. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of local clients and then but the majority of my clients are all online literally all spread out throughout the United States, and then I have a bunch of uh, international clients that I coach as well, so. We right. are in the kitchen getting ready for my uh, pre-workout meal. So I was gonna kinda show you guys kind of an updated version with my new macros back on 150 carbs, missing that 180 that I had down in Texas, but uh, kinda showing you what I'm doing. Um, kinda have my pre-workout kinda set now on this 150 carbs on what I wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is, I have kind of a, a portion of, I'm gonna do chicken breast, 
uh, five ounces, kind of um, sauteed like you guys have saw in my previous The Day in the Life video if you watch that. Um, and I'm also gonna do some cauliflower oatmeal. Again, I'm just gonna utilize that just for more volume and not have to utilize as many carbs by subbing in um, the cauliflower. So again, I'm only, have, I'm only gonna use one serving of oatmeal when usually I'd love to use like in the past one and a half to two servings of oatmeal. But by utilizing the cauliflower, I'm only gonna use 40 grams of uh, oatmeal. In this recipe, I'm gonna do one cup of unsweetened uh, cashew milk here that I'm currently weighing out. So I'm gonna get this boiled with the one serving of the uh, oatmeal. And then, kinda show you guys what else uh, I do here. Again, um, one serving of oatmeal, one cup of the cashew milk, and then we're gonna do of the cauliflower. I get this kinda already pre-riced cauliflower package at Trader Joe's, and um, I'm gonna do 170 grams of the rice cauliflower, which is two servings and only eight carbs. And again, guys, the reason why I'm using the riced uh, cauliflower as I added my oatmeal here, oops, a little too much, um, is I'm gonna save, I usually, before this I was doing about one and a half servings of oatmeal, which was I think about 40 to 41 carbs. By utilizing the rice cauliflower, I'm almost getting, I'm uh, probably getting more volume than that 60 grams of oatmeal, and I'm actually using five less total carbs, and I feel like I'm probably getting more volume out of this. So that is why I'm doing the, the riced cauliflower oatmeal kind of combo there. And again, the trick with the cauliflower is you have to use kind of other ingredients to kind of get that cauliflower taste out of there. So what I'm gonna utilize is some uh, I'm gonna use some stevia drops, I'm gonna use some cinnamon, and I'm gonna use some a little bit of canned pumpkin, not much, just about 20 grams, which is like only, I think maybe like not even two carbs. So I'm gonna use those type of things to kind of, um, kind of flavor the oatmeal. And I'm also, for a little bit more volume, I'm gonna add in a egg white um, to the pan. It just kind of helps kind of give a little bit more volume and um, a little bit more protein. And that's it. So I'll kind of show you guys more of this meal as I get going because I'm also going to do more carbs from uh, a couple of uh, plain rice cakes that I combine with my favorite little mixture. I've, I think I've shown this in the past. I'm not sure. Uh, my favorite little Greek yogurt mixture bowl of almond butter, pumpkin, and two different versions of Greek yogurts and a carb master. So I kind of mix that all together break up rice cakes and dip it into the Greek yogurt mixture. Next step, you're gonna take your rice cauliflower and you're gonna steam it in the microwave for about three to four minutes before you add it to the oatmeal. <clears throat> so like I said, I already have my oatmeal kind of going in here now. I've added in some sea salt, I've added in some cinnamon, I've added in the egg white, so we're kind of getting all that going. Um, I let the, the milk and the oatmeal boil at first and then now I just have it on low and I'm just kind of continuously adding in these ingredients. And like I said, next up I'll be adding in the steamed rice collar once we're done um, with it steaming. And then I have five ounces of chicken breast. Uh, I weigh this out raw. So this is five ounces of raw chicken breast. So cook down and then what I'm gonna use for no calorie condiments Combination, try it. Walden Farms, uh, thick and spicy barbecue sauce mixed with some mustard over the top of the chicken breast. It's freaking bomb. So again, I just added in all of the rice cauliflower into the oatmeal. So you're just gonna stir this in and mix this all this together. This is the mix that I use for the Greek yogurt bowl that you're gonna dip your rice cakes in. Um, I'll also add in some caramel uh, Weldon Farm, so add that in as well. Again, you can customize it with different flavors that you like. I just love this combination. I've just learned to love it so much. But we're gonna do these and then since we are on lower carbs, we are gonna do just plain rice cakes, but when I'm on utilizing refeeds, I love doing like caramel and things like that for, uh, for more crunch 
more flavor, but they're higher in carbs. You're gonna use 12 carbs compared to seven with the, uh, the plain, lightly salted ones. So again, if you're on lower carbs, utilize these, but on refeeds, again, I love using, I'll use like caramel and apple cinnamon, but again, you can use chocolate, you can use whichever ones you want. You, can cust you could customize different Greek yogurt flavors and everything with this type of thing, but this is what I do. Guys, and here is all of the pre-workout meal. Again, we got the five ounces of chicken with the mustard and the barbecue sauce. This is the cauliflower oatmeal in here. We got three plain rice cakes. And again, what I do, I just break them up into bite-sized pieces and then you're gonna take this and dip it into the Greek yogurt mix. Oh, don't knock it till you try it. But again, if you have higher carbs, I would use like caramel, apple cinnamon, something like that. But again, this is a lot of volume for I think maybe about 655 to 60 carbs in this whole entire meal. So getting a nice good amount of carbs in me, uh, eating this about an hour to an hour and a half before uh, legs today. So again, guys, this is just on 150 carbs, how I'm gonna utilize uh, my pre-workout meal. Again, I feel like I do a good job. One of the best things that I do is kind of stretch my, my food intake as much as possible. So even though I'm only on 150 carbs, 52 fat, 260 protein, I'm trying to make the most and stretch my food um, as much as possible. So again, that's why I'm utilizing the cauliflower oats, um, the Greek yogurt mix. I mean, again, um, that's just kind of something that for me, I love that kind of combination of adding in the lower carb rice cakes with this Greek yogurt bowl. I know I love the flavors. I love cinnamon, pumpkin, all those things. So it kind of really, this, this meal kind of satisfies both my sweet tooth and uh, all that stuff. So, all right guys, I'm gonna take you along with some other meals too and show you some game changers that I've added to my Big Mac salad as well as my uh, frittata. One thing uh, my coach Cliff Wilson has me do, uh, he usually has me take around like 10 carbs from simple sugars kind of like right before uh, working out. Uh, in the past I was doing like kind of like a sour candy type, uh, well no, I was doing dextrose which you guys saw in previous things and then I was like, man Cliff, I wanna, I wanna eat these 10 carbs. He's like, well, you can do some candy. So I was like, hmm, I was gonna do Sour Patch Kids. I ended up doing, um, let me get some better lighting in here, guys. I ended up doing these other kind of watermelon sour candies. And then I ran out of those recently and I was at the store and I found these Fruities, Blue Raspberry uh, Fruit Chews. This was like one of my favorite candies um, as a kid. I used to ride my bike to this, it was called Western Market and these were like penny candies. And uh, I love these things. So uh, for about, I think about for almost like nine carbs, nine, 10 carbs, I get four pieces that I will have literally like, kind of like while I'm warming up, I do the, uh, I'll do a stationary bike for like five minutes, get my legs loosened up, and I'll eat the, uh, eat the, eat the candy and drink uh, some of my BCAs. So just kind of funny, I thought I would throw that in here because it was like one of my favorite kids is a candy. And when I saw those at this grocery store, I was like, oh, I gotta get those. So getting that yeah. morning cup of coffee going. Got the usual combo, guys. A little bit of the Walden. This is, turned out to be my favorite one. Hazelnut, caramel, a little bit of cinnamon, a couple drops of stevia. Breakfast, we got, um, I think I'm doing a half serving of Mexican cheese. Game changer is spreading one of these on my omelet. Eight eggs, two whole eggs, six egg whites. And then for seasonings, sea salt, pepper, garlic salt. And then boom, this is amazing on eggs. Saw this in uh, Jeff Nipper's girlfriend's video. Bomb stuff on your eggs. Guys, today is my off day, so made a couple trips to the store. Got some prep essentials. I always get the five dozen eggs. And I've been switching my 96.4 lean ground beef to the Trader Joe's one because it's actually a little bit less calories than the Walmart one. The Walmart one has four and a half fat per four ounces and like 24 protein. The Trader Joe's one has 21 protein and four fat, so a little bit less calories. So everything counts when you're on them poverty macros. Um, and this is something that I've switched to from 
Uh, my mozzarella cheese is kind of a switch up for my uh, for my big salads, which got a lot more two carb butter lettuce, and then and then my spinach, and then I actually saw this and uh, I was using I've already had the uh, I've had the nacho cheddar one that I put on my popcorn, and I saw this in Jeff Nippard's uh, girlfriend's video garlic parmesan. Um, she puts this on her eggs, so I'm gonna try this on my eggs as well as on my popcorn. I gotta get ranch next too, but these are bomb. These are only like two calories uh, per serving. So, and then these are my staple for my Greek yogurt bowls that you guys are gonna see in this video. And then always, I go through so much chicken breast because I almost eat like a pound a day. And check out that freaking Walden Farm stash, guys. I had to like get a bunch more yesterday because a sale ended and they were out of some, so they gave me a rain check. And so I had to stock up more on um, pancake and caramel syrup, and I'm waiting for more Thousand Island to get in. But uh, when they have a sale at my local grocery store, I get these for like $3 a bottle. So definitely stocked up on the Walden Farms. So yeah, that's just a little quick little uh, on my rest days, just trying to get all of my uh, kind of groceries in and stuff that I need. Cause it's like in prep, I feel like I'm at the grocery store honestly like every day, just like restocking on stuff because it's like, I pretty much feel like I'm on a set meal plan cause I stick to these same essential meals. So uh, they go pretty quick during uh, prep mode here.